mix and balance feminine and masculine energies using the yin and yang symbol. Find harmony through simple drawing. This drawing tutorial is how to balance the feminine and masculine. For this purpose, well, you can use a pencil, a marker, a ruler, and a compass. Because we need to draw a circle, shape our drawing as a yin and yang sign, feminine and masculine, the sun and the moon. If you don't have a compass, no problem. Just find something round that you can use for a drawing. For example, a painting palette, outline. And then we have a circle and we desirable that we find a central point. So we'll measure what we have, seven and a half, 17, eight and a half. Center and the center. You can use it even by side. I'm not a problem. Now we need to two circles to create this nice wave. And you can use a pencil, which you can erase later. And it creates a, a shape, wave, that represents uh, two halves, yin and yang. So we have the basic shape. Now we can erase those construction lines. Since this is about energy, I will use the blue marker. I feel like I would like to use dark blue marker, liner, to release energy. I'm going to draw to catharsis, which is emotional outburst. One is masculine, one is feminine. So I decide in advance. So this is this part of will be masculine and feminine. And I will draw a small catharsis within oh, this area. Know that close your eyes, focus on how you want to, to be expressed in the world. And it's simple. Very quick and simple movement. Express yourself, your masculine energy in this area. It's okay if, if it goes outside, not a problem. Oh, here. Okay. So now I will express. That was quite energetic. Now I calm down and I'll try to express my feminine energy. Wow, this area, similar, quick, one, two seconds. Now that's a small one. No, you can always use it again. This is more like demonstration. So I will start with the first one, my feminine side. First, I will outline it, the shapes, using the neurographic line. I take it outside. And this one is sticking out, and I will take it, well, it happened to be even connecting to my masculine, and take it out, the page. I will round everything, all the corners inside the figures. If you're familiar with neurographic art, or neurographica, you know that we use markers to round the corners. Is create an element which serve as a connection between the light, but also reducing the tension by softening those corners. I 
And I can take it even outside. When you feel that the energy, too much energy here, you can always take it. This, this. Oh, this thing happened here. So it's nice and soft like infinity sign. The masculine part, my masculine energy, is represented more as um, energy, and I feel quite energized. What I will do this, so instead of rounding, I will add a little bit more energy by adding triangle. So I convert all the shapes existing in this area into triangles. Uh, please make sure that you know that triangle is the figure of drive, energy, maybe conflict. If you're not familiar with it and you do not want to use it, you can always have an option and just outline and uh, create a similar shape. Just outline all the existing lines and round it. If you feel strong, please, you can use it. triangles. How many? I'll, I'll see. So I will use the existing lines as uh, selecting different figures that have this triangular shape. Because on the outside, I will have to incorporate this one. We have a three, one, two, three. Probably it's enough for now. And I will connect them using rounding. So the triangle are connected. Now please make sure that you have all this the lines. I have more triangles in within within this figure. But I would like to preserve the sharpness of my triangles. So I do not round. If you feel like you can handle the sharpness, uh, please leave them sharp. If not, you can always round them. With the remaining lines, I just take them, extend them, take them outside. So what I, I do there is still, you see, there is energy containing in these lines. I did not want just to round them, but I will take it. It's almost as if I continue this line and use its energy. So. 
แต่สำหรับการที่นิวเอง for example yeah. and this one yeah I maybe I lost this one or that's okay And I will place round. Yes. It's left. I will extend. Here's like an arc, and I will extend it. Connect. It's good that it's connecting because it's within me. That's represent this figure represents me and my energies. Definitely we can connect and as well round. Round all the corners here. Representing connection. Similar, we can do it here, here, in this figure, in the feminine. I want to soften here on this part. I would like to soften as much as possible. And I will continue this line as almost like extending this arc. Round. So by the way, you do not need to extend too far your lines beyond the boundaries of the yin and yang sign. I like here. And maybe this. Um, do you remember connecting with the background? Making lines more neurographic. And now let's let's round with all the corners, remaining corners, and see what happens. I will pause my video for a few minutes so you can round do rounding yourself. We'll... So you can see here we have two figures. There's similar and uh, different, very different characters. It is one softer outline of a, almost like an infinity sign it's more like more shaped like a mountains have a few triangles and the sharpness and i want to contain it and i also would like to do right now is to incorporate this yin and yang sign itself the figure the containing into the frame with the lines. You can even use a wider line. Now, it's interesting how I drew in one direction. Now, I would like to draw in another. I feel like I want to balance it. So, from one direction into another. Just pay attention to how you're feeling. Is any any insights, any changes in your mood, attitude? And I would like to add as I as around corners, also with this shape, um, with this one. My feminine surrounded with my lines, so they become like one network, net lines. Uh, this corner is almost lost. Well, that happened, and it should be like this surrounding.
So I will round all the corners now around this the perimeter of the sign and I will pause my video and we'll meet in a couple minutes. Now when uh, this drawing is almost ready and I'm satisfied so far with the line, I would like to apply colors. And uh, also I would like to remember that there will be smaller circles that belong. One is lighter, like dark and light circles when they when we think about in them. I will include those circles that represent the beginning of those other parts. It's always present, dark and light, and light in dark. And so I'll rounding, I will make sure that they belong here. Bright colors like yellow, orange, and red will be on the more active, masculine, the sun side, and uh, blue, green, and purple will be on the feminine side. side. So moon, water, The cooler energy, like the yin side and yang side. Okay. And then I will apply colors using okay, this in traditional neurographica. When we, you know, that we can always, when we. The traditional neurographica will remember that we want to color at least two or even better three adjacent areas. And more, more like energetic, so if you feel like more intense, showing pencil stroke for more energy. Different shades of orange. And you don't have to color absolutely everything. Just leave some white color, especially this yellow part in the masculine side with more like with fire, with energy. I would like to add more. Darker colors here. I mean, this more like fluidity and some water. I will probably use some turn the drawing. Easy to see. I will try to blend this pencil strokes. I like overlying, uh, layering colors. Oh, I like layering colors.
I will pause this video and we will meet in a few minutes. And this is the sign as uh, yin and yang symbol that I started to use. There, that's my colors. And to show the balance, because it doesn't exist on its own, we'll second apply a little bit of color, complementary colors on the on this side. So a little bit darker on this side and brighter on the other side. In the opposite on the, on the side of green. Not much, just to create a nice background to indicate that the sign doesn't, that the spark doesn't exist on its own. Also surrounded by various by similar colors. The opposite combination of combination and uh, balance of opposites. Sunny side on the shaders, this side. And then you can finish your drawing using your colors, your understanding of perception. The most important, and I uh, finish this drawing, uh, I would say would be the sign, which is an outline again, and wider. If you know neurographic, that would be your fixing element, the sign itself, to hold it together. And if you know enough about neurographica and you feel like using the field lines, you're welcome to include them as well. If not, here we have our balancing sign, connection between the opposites and a harmonious communication. This is the final drawing of my sign, my balancing feminine and masculine using the yin and yang sign. I outlined to make it stand out more, the sign itself. I like it light without adding more lines. Nice, soft, in almost like infinity sign in the feminine part and nice sharp triangles in the masculine side. The light colors, balancing dark colors. Please subscribe, join our community, and enjoy my free neurographic art and art for well-being classes. You're welcome to add comments, what you would like to see, what figures, what elements, what tutorials. Please remember to like and share. Please check my other video Femininity Beyond Gender and tutorial on strengthening our feminine energy. See you in the next video.